If you're from America, traveling to Europe, I recommend you know how to approximately convert from the metric system used in Europe to the freedom unit system used in America for these three things. I'm gonna show you how we do it. Now for temperature, in Europe, we use degrees centigrade. To convert to Fahrenheit, very simple. Remember, this is just approximate. All you need to do is double the value and then add 30. For example, if we have 30 degrees centigrade, double it, 60, and then add 30. It's approximately 90 degrees Fahrenheit. The next one is distance and speed. Now the conversion is gonna be the same because you're just affecting the numerator here. So to go from kilometers per hour used in Europe to miles per hour, freedom units, very simple, just multiply it by 0 0.6. For example, if I have 120 kilometers or kilometers per hour, all you do is multiply by 0 0.6. Well, multiplying by 0 0.6, 120 is 12 times 10. So if you multiply this by 10, you get six. Then six times 12 gives you an approximate value of 72 miles per hour. Have you hit the follow button yet? And finally, the weight. In Europe, we use kilograms, you guys use pounds. Very simple, you double the value and then add 10%. For example, you're taking a suitcase and it measures, let's say 15 kilograms. You double it to 30 kg and then you add 10%. 10% of this is three and then you add it to this, you get 33 pounds. And these are some very simple conversions which you can use whilst traveling around Europe. Enjoy. Nice.